I'm Celeste, and we are A and C with the twist. twist. Today we are making Thang Lai Lo. Since we're on quarantine, a lot of the bread is out of stock, so we decided we'd make one at home by ourselves. So let's get started. Our ingredients today are salt, all-purpose flour, but if you don't have all-purpose flour, you can use bread flour, sugar, Crisco shortening, and yeast. Let's get baking. The first step is to dissolve the yeast. So we're gonna take half a cup of warm water, half a cup of warm water, and we're going to put in our packet of yeast. Then we put in one tablespoon of sugar. Now we mix it. Now we leave it and let it dissolve. While the yeast is dissolving, we're gonna take another liquid measuring cup and put half a cup of hot water. We're gonna take our Crisco shortening and we're gonna put in four tablespoons of it into the hot water. And we're going to mix it until it's dissolved. We're going to mix it until it is dissolved. And that's why it's important to have hot water because it won't dissolve in regular water. And if it doesn't dissolve enough, you can put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds. When the Crisco is dissolved in the water, we're going to set it aside until it's room temperature. We're going to put four cups of flour in the mixture. It's a mixture. <laughs> we're going to put four cups of flour in the mixer. One cup, two cups, three cups, four cups. Next, we're gonna put in one tablespoon of salt. Next, we put in one fourth cup of sugar. It's time to mix it until it's well combined. I poured the yeast mixture into a bowl and we're going to take our Crisco and water mixture and pour it into the yeast mixture. And now we mix it till we'll combine. After you mix it, you're gonna pour it into the flour mixture. And we mix again. This time we're gonna mix it until the dough forms. <laughs> this time we're gonna mix it until the dough forms and it stops sticking to the bowl. It is done. We're going to mix the dough a little so that it turns into a hard ball. We're going to take our bowl and we're going to either, you can put cooking spray, oil, or butter. We're going to butter it. And then we're gonna put the ball of dough in. That was loud. And we're going to cover it with a rag. All right, now we put our dough in and we cover it with a rag. We're going to cover this with a rag and we're gonna let it rise in a warm area for one hour and we'll be back. We're going to be letting it rise in a heated place. So you can either preheat your oven and then turn off the heat when it's in there or you can put it in your microwave. So we're going to put it in our oven for an hour. We'll be back in an hour. It has been an hour, and we're going to take our dough. We're going to put our dough onto a floured surface so it doesn't stick. 
And we need a rolling pin. And something to cut your dough. A cutter me bob. <laughs> a thingamajiggy. Yeah. Let me check one more time. I need with... to make sure. Angel just wants to kill the dough. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna... <laughs> Gosh. We're gonna cut it into two pieces, two even pieces. You can either section it into two breads or four breads. We're gonna section it into four. I did it, I did it, I did it, I do. We need a rolling pin and we're gonna roll out the dough until it is very thin, not, not that it breaks. Once you have rolled it out and it is thin, we're going to roll it like this. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Then, once you get to the end, we're going to go where the dough ends and we're going to pinch it together so that it'll stick and not break open. We're gonna take the edges and we're gonna fold them in. So, just like this. And you fold them in like that. And then this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna put it on a pan with parchment paper. And then we're gonna make the rest of them. Yummy! me, thank you. I'm gonna start making the next one. We're gonna put two of the breads onto a pan and we're going to preheat our oven to the lowest it can go and we're going to let it preheat and then put this in and we can turn off the heat and we're going to let it rise with, for one hour and we're gonna cover it with a rag. So basically, we're just letting it rise more like how we let the dough rise in the bowl. And when you're rolling them, make sure you pinch the dough together because if you don't, then while it's baking, it's gonna open and it's just gonna not look like bread. It has been an hour and our breads are done rising. This is what they look like. We're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're making four, so we're gonna bake them to 15 to 20 minutes because they're smaller. If you're baking only two, then you're going to put it for 20 to 35 minutes because they're bigger, so they're gonna take longer to bake. Also, we're gonna add some finishing touches before they go in the oven. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a small knife and <laughs> we're gonna cut like three little slits on top. Now it looks professional. Now we're gonna bake them. She is preparing the bread with some butter, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> She's preparing it for our parents to try. Time for a taste test. You can add a piece to mommy. Sherman wants some. Mmm, very good. Buttery. Mm. <laughs> and that was our bread with, with a, a twist. twist. Bye. Bye.